Hi everybody, thanks for joining us for another gameplay demo of the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus. We're playing the Redream emulator, and I'm going to be playing Daytona USA. This was a really popular arcade game back in the day, but not so popular on Dreamcast, and that's why I'm demoing it for you right now. Alright, let's pick the Hornet. car. As a kid, I always played the Hornet because it's like the most balanced car. Like, the Grasshopper has a lot of grip, but it was so slow that everybody passes me up. Falcon. And then the Falcon has a little bit better acceleration, but it was still kind of slow. Lightning. And the Lightning just was totally uncontrollable as a kid. I remember, like, it was really fast in a straight line, and then everybody just passed, passed me up on the turns because I'm sliding around. Lightning. Anyways, I'm gonna go with the Falcon. I'm a noob, so I'm gonna use automatic transmission because I suck. Tire, I don't know which tire is best for whatever track we're doing. I'm gonna keep it the same. Original color, custom color one, custom color two, and custom color three. I like the blue and yellow, so I'll go with that one. Hit OK. Course, I don't wanna do the first course, right? Gotta pick some, something cooler. Oh, that map is super hard. I tried driving that before, got wrecked. Desert City. Desert City. Is that supposed to be like Vegas? I'll try Desert City. Four laps. Normal. Now, each lap you can play normal, reverse, mirror, or mirror reverse. But I tend to try out things on normal. Everything is okay. Let's hit start. Race start. Now the hardest part about playing this game in the arcades is that you turn the steering wheel a little bit and it would just turn way too much and then you'd be turning the other way and then as soon as you turn the other way it's too late. And that's probably what's going to happen here. And it's like, dude, like I'm going in a straight line and I was losing traction there. What's up with that? And see, I'm just barely tapping the analog stick and it's turning me like crazy. Look at that. Holy cow, what the heck just happened? I don't even know what happened right now. Okay, maybe this map is harder than I thought. A lot of, lot of hot, air, hot air balloons, which I like, that's pretty cool. I'm losing traction a lot. It's like I brake for the turn and then I feel like I scrub off too much speed. But then this isn't like Gran Turismo where it's like a finesse like game. It's not real precise. I think it's supposed to keep you on like the seat of your pants just like because you're never really stable in this game. I think that's the whole point. You're supposed to have like really quick reaction time with this game. And obviously I don't possess that ability because I'm so bad at this. If I can get 19th place, I'll be happy. Oh, shit. All right, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Come on, let's get traction. At least I'm hitting the checkpoints, right? Because that would be really sad if I can't even hit the checkpoints. I do want to report that I was able to get fifth place on a race earlier today, but of course now that I'm recording, I probably won't because I'm so bad at this game and my fifth place finish was probably pure luck. One thing I can tell you is that with this emulator and the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, I get a consistent 60 frames per second. It's really smooth. With the original Retroid 2, driving game that I thought was really playable was like Cruising USA for N64 and obviously the Dreamcast is much much harder to emulate because it is actual 3D whereas Cruising USA is like I don't know if you can really call that 3D it's like quasi 3D right 19th place really bad right I like the Game Over song though. It's pretty sick. I love it. 
Ooh. So yeah, the Dreamcast version feels pretty much just like the arcade. I would just need a steering wheel and it would be exactly the same. One funny thing is whenever I play um, Daytona USA, like, I don't know if it's some like weird memory that I have from a kid, but I smell butter popcorn when I play this game. <laughs> I'm just weird like that, I guess. They must have been popping popcorn nearby when I played this as a kid because I swear every time I play this game, I smell butter popcorn and I promise you nobody's popping popcorn at my house. National Park Speedway. Let's see. Let's try Rin Rin Rink. I'll just do two laps this time because I don't want to waste everybody's time. thing about playing Dreamcast on an emulator, the load times are super fast. You'd be sitting here waiting for a while if you're playing on an actual Dreamcast, but here we go, we're ready to roll. I love that about emulators, it really takes the load times way down. The Dreamcast had like really slow uh, disk transfer rates, I think it was at like 3 megabytes per second. So it's not like it's not like a 24x CD-ROM. It was really slow. I think it was like a 2x or whatever it was back in the day. So that's one big benefit of playing on an emulator. The wait times are just so much shorter. And if you're waiting less and playing more, that's you know you're having a better experience, right? Oh god! All right, let's go full speed into this turn. Since this is an arcade, I'm not even gonna bother breaking into this turn. I'm just gonna go straight into it. There's something about simple driving games like this where you can just kind of veg out and not pay attention. I really like it because I feel like when I play Gran Turismo, I have to really pay attention to where I'm going, what car I'm using, like fine tuning settings, and sometimes you don't want to bother with that, you just want to drive, right? Like even right now, I'm terrible at this game, it's obvious, right? But I'm still having a really good time. I really don't mind. I want to make this checkpoint though. Ooh, 18 seconds. I've got a little bit of time. Oh. Oh shoot, I'm probably not going to make the next one. Judging by how poorly I did here. Three, two, one. Ah, tenth place. G-A-M-E-O-V-E-R. That's the best song. I love it. So cool. Thanks for joining us for this video. I want to say that Daytona USA is worth a play and I had a good time playing with you. Now, if you can remember the last time you played this game in an arcade, let me know in the comments below. Obviously, I mentioned that I smell butter popcorn, so I must have played it in an arcade where they were popping butter popcorn nearby. And maybe you can remember some of the details from when you played it as a kid in the 90s. I hope you had a good time. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.